Welcome to another current skate culture video. Today, we're gonna dive into some of the culture that's happening in skateboarding right now. People who are getting kicked off of companies, random drama that's happening here and there, and today is no shortcoming of a vid. Now, the first thing is, is Huff going out of business? Huff Shoes, been around for a long time. They have a heavy, heavy team, and they just put out the new Cromer 2 shoe video with Brad Cromer skateboarding in New York City, which I think he either lives at now or has just been there to film this video. It was incredible, it was amazing, and I'm sure that it sold some shoes, but I've heard through the grapevines that Huff is actually going out of business after spring 2019 launch. Apparently there's a lot of sales reps in skateboarding right now telling skate shops that that's the end of Huff, that 2019, they're gonna go forward with apparel, lifestyle, but they're gonna quit with the shoes. A lot of people are freaking out in skateboarding because Huff is one of the skater-owned companies. Keith Huffnagel owns at least a majority, I think, of Huff the company, so you wanna see a skateboard company grow in the whole realm, the fight, the match with Nike, Adidas, Converse, and so on and so forth. I've always been a big fan of the team. I'm especially a big fan of Josh Matthews, Dan Plunkett, and Brad Cromer, and to see them not have a shoe sponsor would be murder. It'd be whack, but I'm sure a lot of companies would pick them up, but I'm sure it's scary in skateboarding, especially when you're coming of age, when you're getting older and you don't have a set shoe sponsor. Anyways, I could go on forever about this, but I hope Huff isn't going out of business. I love the shoes, and I have a lot of friends who also get hooked up by Huff as well, who get flowed shoes from Huff, so I don't wanna see them not get shoes either. It's a hard game out there. A lot of skaters don't have money, so yes. Now, when I posted this to Planet Melee, all the comments were pretty much the same. Everybody was bombed, gutted. Wow. Somebody said they're all either going to Fallen Footwear or New Balance, which is sick. It kind of makes sense. New Balance sort of has a random team, and I think sort of anyone could sort of scatter in that field and skate with them. That'd be awesome. Some people randomly said they didn't know Huff made shoes. I think that's, that's more on them than the company. The next thing I wanted to talk about was this post that Deshaun Jordan randomly posted. If you don't know, this boy is very good at skateboarding. I think his most memorable stunt so far on a skateboard, yes, I just said stunt and I instantly regretted it, was the back-to-back -back he did at Hollywood 16, the same day, two of the gnarliest tricks that spot has ever seen. Now I talked to some friends from Arizona to ask, did you see this kid coming up, Deshaun Jordan? And apparently he was kind of a ghost. He came sort of out of nowhere, blossomed, filmed with a few homies, a video part here and there, and then all of a sudden, boom, he's on Nike and just killing the game. He also does really well at Street League, etc. so he's in high demand. So he's keeping it hush-hush on Instagram. He's not saying what the company is, but it's probably gonna be some kind of legendary company. I would assume either Primitive, or numbers, or maybe Shane O'Neill's new company. Now I also posted the thing about Deshaun and Yuto Horigami commented, Shane, question mark, so not even Yuto knows if it's going to be on Shane's company, and I think that's something that he would know. So to me, that says that he's not gonna be on Shane's new company. Now looking at the comments, somebody says, hopefully a smaller board company basically will pick up Deshaun, which is very doubtful. I think if you're someone like him, you're gonna go to a company that's already stapled. Somebody said blind. Somebody said they all look like real decks. Hopefully that new Chris Haslam thing. I did actually see that that was going to be on this thing as well is that Chris Haslam did start a board company. It's not very recent news, but it's interesting to see because Chris Haslam and Day One Song, I would always see skateboarding together, and then Day One Song started his board company, and in my head I just assumed well, maybe Chris Haslam will skate with it as well. But he actually started his own thing. There's so many board companies right now, it's insane. Now the last thing I want to talk about is very, very, very random, but Brian Winning's mom started a board company. Company. Brian Winning is an East Coast legend. He's epic, but he hasn't really been skating that much in the last few years. Apparently, someone at the skate shop said that his mom came into the skate shop and talked about his new board company called Por La Culture, and they tried to sell it in Mexico, but the boards weren't selling. Mexico, I think, has a completely different 
industry? I don't know. So she brought boards and a shirt to the skate shop. I don't think she asked the guy if he wanted to carry the company. She just wanted to sort of introduce it to him. She also told him that Brian Winning wasn't happy about this. Why would a mom push the idea of a board company with her son's name on the board without her son being excited about the project? It seemed really weird, but Brian Winning actually posted a picture of PJ Ladd holding his new skateboard company. It's very doubtful that PJ Ladd rides for this company because it seems too random, small, obscure. But in the picture, it seems like Brian Winning is actually excited about the board company. I mean, he's repping it in one of his photos on Instagram. So who knows, maybe there's another board company in the mix and it's Brian Winning's company, Porta La Culture. Poor La Culture. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick segment of current skate culture. Every Tuesday, I upload a video like this, and then every Monday through Friday, we do upload new videos. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, a new vlog to this channel. Thursday is another Planet Melee video. It'll be strictly skateboarding. And this week, it's actually gonna be Jeff Wansong skating at Westchester. It's such an, I feel like I have a lisp right now. I'm a little sick. Skating at Westchester, it's amazing. He's incredible, mic'd up. He's a ridiculous guy in such a great way, and I love his skateboarding with a passion so stay tuned thursday to see that and of course every weekday for a new video love you so much progress daily and keep killing it